right, everyone, I hope that you have a great Sunday. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. I have three stocks I want to share with you that I believe all three of them have a really, really awesome, extremely high, high potential to end the year of 2023 much higher than they are right now. Obviously, you're seeing already the first one is Rocket Lab USA Incorporation. I'm going to go real quick through these stocks. I'm not going to do a deep review or analysis because I've already done that actually for all three of them long ago. <laughs> the videos do exist, though. You can watch them, full review and analysis. In fact, the third one that we're going to talk about in this, uh, one of the three that I'm, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to show you in this video, is actually one that has, re in my previous old video that I did about it, which was a full review and analysis about it, I received lately so many comments, which means that it, it, there must be a lot of talk about it. I didn't search on social media, but... Um, you know, usually when you see a lot of people uh, who are not necessarily subscribers of this channel, but they found my older video and now there's, you know, there's a lot of attention about it, uh, that means that something's going on. And indeed there is. So you might want to watch. All right, the first one we are going to talk about is Rocket, uh, Rocket Lab USA Incorporation. It closed at $3.85, which is dirt cheap in my opinion for what this company is, what it's worth, what it's going to be. Um, it's trading at an all-time low, and I don't fear that, to be honest. This is the max lifetime chart that you're looking at right now. Um, news today that I posted in my Discord, but I've been talking about the Rocket Lab on YouTube, on my YouTube channel first many times, and on my Discord. Um, the news now is that Rocket Lab prepares for first of two launches to deploy storm monitoring constellation for nasa they're micro satellites they're not huge they're small satellites that it's that nasa wants to deploy and they chose rocket lab but it's it's symbolically and also important financially also obviously rocket Lab is going to pay get get, pay, get paid for this but the neutron rocket is the most important part and rocket lab will take aim at spacex with neutron launch plants that's going to happen I think this year, later this year, if not 2024 for sure. So Rocket Lab USA said it would target a $50 million launch price for its uh, coming reusable launch vehicle called Neutron. 50 million bucks launch price is going to make it cheaper than SpaceX. And when Rocket Lab does its first launch of Neutron, and Neutron is shown that it is perfectly fine. If I had a business, why would I choose SpaceX when I can get my satellite up there uh, and we're talking about heavy load satellites, not micro satellites. Um, and when I can get it up there much cheaper with Rocket Lab, which is a, is a really credible and great company. Now, I understand that, you know, people are going to say, you know, I, I get it. Rocket Lab isn't coming out of nowhere all of a sudden. Elon Musk is dumb enough to just, I get it. You know, they're not going to come out and, you know, and beat SpaceX all of a sudden. But it's going to make, you know what, uh, after SpaceX, give me one company after SpaceX, which is as good or close to SpaceX. Give me one. Who's the next one after SpaceX? It's Rocket Lab. Nobody else. All right. So um, with the launch of Neutron, this company is going to become stunning. The stock is going to be worth more than what it is now. Rocket Lab plans to position Neutron to compete directly with SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on a cost per kilogram basis. Currently, the Falcon 9 has a $67 million price launch and so on. Let's go on to the next slide. Rocket Lab is now trading at near 52 week low. Yes. Space is a massive market that presents huge opportunities. Yes, this is from an analyst, not mine. The company continues to make substantial progress with electron and space system segment. Yes, the development of Neutron has started and it could be a game changer. Definitely, 100%. Is this company rated a buy? It is also for me also. I rated a buy also. Next stock we're going to talk about. Now we're going to the second stock of this video is ticker symbol NNOX. Are you looking for a Discord platform that offers a first-class trading community? That's what you can expect when you join Bull Market Watch. Trading can be challenging for some people, but we're here to simplify the process for you. We have a very powerful track record. Our Discord deals with day trades, swing trades, and long-term trades. Hundreds of traders operate through our Discord, where we come up with stocks to trade for profits on the NASDAQ and in YSE. With a low monthly subscription of $9.90, you will have full access to our Discord, where you can interact with other traders and get all the latest news when it comes to trading as well. 
It's a community that is extremely supportive of one another and always willing to help each other out. Become a member of Bull Market Watch today and be on your way to a better financial situation. And back on May 1st, on May 1st, 2023, this year, I left this message in my Discord and I said, ticket symbol NNOX now at $8.71 came out with great news. And we need, you know, I said, I need to follow this. Some people say, um, I had one person say, why do you put up such, you know, why do you put up good news of a stock and you give the, the current price of that stock when you write about it and so on. And then the stock goes up and you didn't buy it because I'm not a billionaire, right? And I cannot buy everything, right? There's no way, that's impossible. Whenever I do buy anything though, everyone in my Discord knows about it in the My Picks 2023 channel, which is right here. Anything that I can't buy because I'm not a billionaire, well, I will still let people know about it and I'll let them know about the news, I'll let them know what the price is and so on. We'll further talk about it later in the chat, which I did. And if people wanna buy it, they can buy it. Um, so it was $8.71. Right now, the stock is at $15.23, which is insane. Nearly, nearly 100% gain since I left a message in the Discord. Now, if it has gone up nearly 100%, what's the point of talking about it? And why would I think that this would go higher by the end of this year? Because this is the one month chart you're looking at lately when it spiked and so on. But let's go the past five days. Yes, clearly there is momentum for the stock to go higher if you look at the past five days, but that doesn't mean anything. What if we look at the max chart since way back 2021, 2020, when the stock went public? Where is it at? It is so low right doesn't mean that it's going to go up here again but it's still trading very low and is the news good to support that maybe the stock goes higher well nano x arc imaging system receives fda clearance that was on may 1st 2023 when i left the news early in pre-market hours on my discord pioneering a new era in medical imaging and that was the this um this fda clearance for their imaging system believe it or not let me go back here to this chart this because nano x is a stock that i've been covering since at least uh, minimum 2021 if not earlier and i've done videos about it and so on and we've been and i remember those huge huge runs they had back then it was all based on that on news potentials of that nano imaging system and so on well finally in 2023 we have gotten to the point where they got fda clearance i'm not saying that it's worth buying okay that's up to you to decide but i think it's worth looking into and doing more due diligence to see where this company could go now with this fda clearance right because if we look at the financial of the company 2022 they had 8.5 million dollars in revenue which okay was a 557 percent increase revenue i mean they're nearly it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because they had nearly no revenue before but imagine now with the fda clear now they can go and start commercializing this whole system that they've been uh pioneering and, and and promising to investors that they'll get they got it i think it's worth following i think it's worth following now let's go to the third stock of this video so the third stock is aquestive therapeutics incorporation powerful company powerful stock and indeed so much potential um I, I had done a video on aquestive therapeutics incorporation back in i think must have been 2020 early early 2021 around there i think it was late 2000 I don't know, whatever and people are very hyped about aquestive therapeutics back then in that video that i had done over two years ago i had said that aquestive therapeutics would be a 30 dollar company right 30 dollar per share company had it had did it reach 30 bucks since then no it didn't but now it can now it's on its way to doing that because now the um, the company is you know just like nano x they, they they they're clear to go now so aquestive therapeutics corporation has spiked the past three months up to two dollars and four cents it hurts to watch it to be honest because i'll show you in a little bit we'll get back to that hurt part in a little bit um, aquestive receives conditional fda approval for proprietary name anaphylin for lead candidate a aqs aqst 109 the aqst 109 lead candidate was the lead candidate that i did a video about over two years ago and i was talking about the potential of this and how it would take the stock to be a 30 dollars stock again and finally long-term investors i was swing trading it so many times which was no regrets because it was profitable every single time people in my discord know it especially 2022 there was there was so many times we got in and out of it but 
sort of like what's the point of getting in and out of it when now it took off uh, quest of therapeutics disclosed that the fda has conditionally sanctioned uh anaflin as the proposed uh, brand name for AQST uh, uh, 109, which is used to treat severe allergic reactions, particularly anaphylaxis. The proprietary name anaphylin was developed after an extensive process involving external branding experts and so on. In a recent report released, Jason Butler from JMP Securities said that um, he gives a buy rating on a quest of therapeutics with a price target of $8 per share. That's not bad. Some people, I don't know where people are getting $100. One person left me a comment in my old uh, Quest of Therapeutics video and said that uh, AQSD got a $100 price target. That's impossible, but not even, you know, uh, but $8 is, is, is a good start. Trust me, it's a really good start. Back on October 28th, for example, 2022, I had bought AQSD at $0.90, cents, sold it at $1.90, and that was one of many, many, many swing trades back and forth. We used to go from $0.80 cents to $0.90, $0.95, cents, boom, then we would drop back down to $0.80, cents, and we were able to do that many times. Uh, Aquesta Therapeutics reports Q1 results raises forward year 2023 revenue guidance, so that's also a big plus. The company had a revenue of $11.13 million, which they beat by 1.19, even though it was a negative 9.3 year over year, but they did beat by $1.19 million. And they now see the forward year 2023 revenue of $42 million to 46 from 37.41, obviously up, right? So they're giving a guidance that we're gonna make more money than the analysts estimated or that we had estimated, right? So that's also good. And what does Aquesti Therapeutics reminds me of? It reminds me of Assertio Holdings. Remember Assertio Holdings? I had done a video about it and talked about it when it was at uh, $2.30, I believe. It was it was a Discord pick that I made also. And then what happened to Assertio Holdings? It went over 6 bucks. And I just really, really believe that Aquesti Therapeutics is headed minimum at 6 to 8 bucks, And after that, you know, obviously through the years and more revenues and more on and so on partnerships possibly and so on the company will go even higher so uh, it's a good good potential candidate for a long term in my personal opinion doesn't mean that it is for you you have to decide for yourself but aqst 109 has the potential to be the first and only the and that's what makes this powerful the first and only oral epinephrine product as a sublingual film right that you would put in your mouth not only is a sublingual formulation allow for rapid absorption but it also alleviates some of the issues associated with injectors such as fear of needles that cause improper administration or delay dosing in addition the sublingual film packaging is about the size of a postage stamp allowing for easy storage and transport and so on this is a game changer and this company is beyond its potential is beyond eight dollars. Its potential is truly thirty bucks, as I had said back in 2020, 2021 when I made that video. And it's just going to, you know, it's obviously don't expect that to happen, you know, now or within a month, right? We, you know, we don't want that to happen because that would be uh, pumps and you know always end up in a dump. We don't want that. Uh, we want the company to achieve that steadily, and it will, in my opinion. So this is very powerful. This is awesome. And so that's three stocks, really. If I had to choose out of these three stocks, which are my favorite to hold, buy and hold for uh, at least into 2024, right? Um, it would be Rocket Lab and Aquesta Therapeutics. So those two, RKLB, AQST, I really love those. And um, so that's that. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. I hope that this video was helpful. If this video was helpful and you liked it, please share it in your social media uh, so that more people can see it and it would also benefit them possibly, we'll see. Um, and uh, yeah, so have a great weekend, everyone, and take care.